All right. Let's begin with saying that um, ODST, I think, is a good game. I haven't played it in, like, six years or something. But, yeah, I don't really remember the game too much, but I started playing it. And I realized the first mission is so poorly designed that new players are going to have a shitty experience <laughs> with the game. And that's probably why it didn't sell very well. In fact, I don't know how much it sold for. Let me look at it. Oh, wow. I knew what I wanted to look up. Yeah, so... <laughs> Halo Combat Evolved got 5.5 million sales, which is insane. Halo 2 got 8... Roughly 8 million. It doesn't say. Uh, Halo 3 got 14.5. Halo 3 ODST got 6.35 million. That's only... Like a million, eight hundred thousand more, or seven, seven hundred fifty thousand more than the original game in two thousand one, when it was eight years later. It took me like twenty something minutes of playing the first mission before I made any progress whatsoever. That's the gayest shit I've ever seen. Halo ODST sheds light on the more vulnerable side of the human armada. The beginning cutscene is worth watching since the beginning level is such a clusterfuck of map design. You might as well sit through the beginning cutscene because you won't be able to enjoy yourself for the next 20 minutes. Really, I really don't want to hate on the people who made Halo ODST because I really like the game, but this first mission, after not playing the game for so long and finally playing it on the Master Chief Collection, like, there are so many things that I, that I said during my gameplay that I thought was hilarious because I was talking about uh, the random groups of enemies that were unrelated to the progression of the level. So like, there's this back alleyway that you can't really see because it's um, it looks like an alleyway on the map, but it's actually a door that you have to manually open by getting close to it and because there's no waypoints or anything nothing nothing like the original games you know because you don't have a, like even though you're not in a spartan suit i mean the odsts are still geared with with helmets and stuff and visors like they should be able to get the same type of information that you would but they they have the they have their own little thing that, that just tells you where you can find these, what were they, like, info kiosks or something? And it really wasn't anything to do with the the level at all. It was kind of annoying, actually. Like, like what am I supposed to do? I'm supposed to collect information? Is that, is that what I'm supposed to do? Uh, this is our planet. We should already have the information. What are you fucking talking about? As for developments and uh, other things, I guess I could take this opportunity to talk about projects as of uh, wh where they are and uh, what exactly they are, because... I would love to, to share this 
my experience with the world as well as the world share its experience with me while I'm sharing my experience. So it's kind of like a, um, a diversity kind of thing. Like, oh, oh, you're stretching. But uh, yeah, it's like I have some writing that I want to, to to share with people and to work with with people. I have some music. I have some some videos, of course. But uh, yeah, I just uh, I just want people to uh, join the experience as we move along, creating things for the world to enjoy. Because right now the world is in a um, carrier situation with America being torn apart economically and socially. The rest of the world seems to have its shit together, so I'm not going to really comment on that, being a stupid 20-year-old American. <laughs> For the rest of this uh, video, I will fill the audio with some of the music, and then I'll put like a little title card for the... Uh, the filler name that I gave it after I uh, I made it, but they're like little track loops that I put together for um for future videos, like for background music or whatever. Nothing too fancy. I didn't I didn't go crazy. I'm a, I'm an amateur. At it. <laughs> 